I'm Kristen Dudas. I've been a member at Elite since 2009. This last couple of years I've really used the club for the pools, the indoor and outdoor pool, uh, for my training. Um, over the years though I've enjoyed tennis, um, yoga, personal training, spin classes. Sports have always been a huge part of my life since childhood. In high school I played um, tennis, I ran track, played basketball. And then in college at Notre Dame, I ran track and cross country for four years. Uh, so running has always been a passion of mine and um, have always led an active lifestyle. I believe there was a natural progression from running in college to wanting to do an, um, a marathon. I think at a young age, I was exposed to the really the power of the mind and establishing and setting goals. Uh, one of my coaches encouraged us to write on um, index cards or postcards and post around the house or our bedroom. I think I was 17 at the time. I um, wanted to do a marathon and I wanted to do an Ironman. I signed up for Ironman Wisconsin, which was September 9th, 2018 and had a, a pretty solid base of fitness from um, previous running and swimming and biking, which I had been uh, doing on my own. I had a coach at that time who established a plan for me, which started in January of 2018. So it was uh, really a solid uh, base that I had going into Ironman and then um, a more specific training plan for about nine months. Mental preparation is a huge component for me with um, training for the Ironman and then the day of competition itself. There's nothing as powerful as a changed mind. Um, and I, I do believe that, that we can make up our mind to do something and that can really impact our behavior. One strategy that I used uh, going into any races, um, including Ironman, is visualization. And this would be a, a strategy where I um, really um, close my eyes and visualize the, the day itself. And I've done it in reverse, starting seeing myself finish the race, taking myself to the beginning, as well as starting at the beginning, going all the way through. And that has helped with preparation, making sure I have the right equipment when I pack and the proper gear, but also um, taking myself through unexpected challenges that might arise. I've set goals for every race and Ironman is no different. Um, I wanted ultimately to have a successful finish on that day and at the end of the day and at the end of the race I can feel happy ultimately with what, what I accomplished. We need to experience discomfort before we can um, change as a person and become someone better or achieve an accomplishment. And I think when you feel like you're on the brink of discomfort, that, that, that that's good, that you can see that as, oh, I'm, I'm having the itch to do something or I, I want to achieve something more. If you feel a little bit nervous but excited, that's good. That means that you're in a, in a good place. So I would encourage that if you're feeling that, um, you know, you have a goal but it's feeling uncomfortable, um, that's a good sign and you can follow that that discomfort to know that you're not going to change or you're not going to um, uh, do something different than you've done before unless you go through that discomfort.